So let's run a quick thing over the arguments which were raised today. First, we had the Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, who was representing the CBI after the production of uh, Chidambaram in court. He said that the former Union Home Minister, former Union Finance Minister as well, he said that there was a that they needed custodial interrogation of him. Therefore, they needed five days of custody of Chidambaram. He cited judgments to shock about the importance of custodial interrogation in the case of this. He cited the Delhi High Court's judgment in which it rejected Chidambaram's anticipation being free, talking about the importance of this kind of a case and how it, it was very serious and very Given, and he talked about the fact that Chidambaram is supposed to be the kingpin of this whole INX media scam. So that's what Tushar Mehta comes up and says. He says uh, that the five, that they need five days of custody to truly get answers because Chidambaram is an evasive. He's not cooperated properly with the CBI in the course of their probe into the INX media scam. Then uh, the lawyers for Chidambaram came and argued. Kapil Sibal first came up and said, look, there is no question of non-cooperation or, no, or, or evasiveness here. Uh, he was summoned once. He, made his, he, he gave his response. That's all. He said, look, at the, in the course of this whole thing, even though it's so serious, the only time he was summoned was once back in June 2018. So, you know, w what is the question of urgency and a need for custodial interrogation? He said that, uh, the, that, 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 that in, in, in this case, basically, Chidambaram was uh, not even, you know, heavily involved. Uh, the alleged scam took, uh, required what? An FIPB approval. But the FIPB approval was not sort of a unilateral decision of Chidambaram's. It was a decision made based on um, a, 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 a orders to be passed by the cabinet secretary. They approved the FIPB, um, uh, uh, the, the, the foreign investment in this case for the FIPB and then Chidambara was the one who had to finally just sign off on it. So he didn't have his own discretion or input in that. Uh, Abhishek Manu Singhvi gets up, he argues on the point of non-cooperation specifically, he says essentially what the CBI is saying here is that he's not coming and cooperating even though he's given answers every time, they've asked him questions. He's not failed to answer questions, he's not failed to provide anything as required. But essentially he's saying that, that what the CBI were trying to do here is say that oh he's not given us the answers we want, that's not equal to non-cooperation. A person has the right against self-incrimination. They don't have to say whatever the CBI wants them to say. Then after that, he also um, raised a specific point about uh, the fact that here there are three general things which you look at in terms of denying bail. One is not just whether the person is cooperating or not cooperating. You have to also look at whether they're a flight risk, whether they're a, uh, they're, there's a chance they'll abscond or whether they'll also tamper with evidence. He said the CBI had not let any uh, arguments on those issues here. So as a result, there is very little grounds to deny bail. And he said there's no need for custodial interrogation. Then uh, Chidambaram himself brought up and made a brief statement about the interrogation back in June 2018 where he had uh, given answers. He'd been asked a very limited question about having a foreign bank account or not. And he'd given an answer on that. And he says, on this basis, I've answered their questions whenever they've asked it and I con will continue to cooperate so why should I be uh, held in custody? So Mr. Janan Tushar Mehta had objected to uh, Chidambaram being given a chance to speak but uh, uh, the court still did allow Chidambaram to speak and after a very brief thing he also sat down the court and reserved its order and said it would pass it within half an hour.